There's been some concerned residents in the Halton region recently regarding coyotes. Now it's not what you think. It's not about coyotes approaching people as they walk their dogs or they're playing. It's about coyotes having mange. Now I'm here in Hamilton at Skedaddle Wildlife Control and I'm going to talk to the owner Bill Dowd about coyotes and what mange is. Well mange is a, a kind of a, a, a parasitic mite that uh, attacks the skin. So a lot of times you'll see animals such as coyotes or squirrels with kind of patches of fur missing. Um, so it is quite common in any mammals, but uh, coyotes uh, tend to get it a little bit more. And those are the calls when homeowners will see a coyote, it'll look very weak or very skinny because the mange is kind of eating away at that fur. And, and that's where people get, um, you know, kind of upset seeing these animals in their neighborhoods. Most of these coyotes suffering from mange will seem lethargic, skinny, red skinned and missing tufts of fur. Death can be quite common for these creatures since they can no longer sustain their body heat. When you usually see a coyote, it's going to be in an area like this one. There's a park behind me, there's also trees and even a creek. Now when a coyote has mange, those things are going to change. You may be seeing them in more uncommon areas like neighborhoods. That's because they're more fatigued, so they're going to be a little more desperate to find food. Uh, there's been studies out there with coyotes that do uh, have mange tend to be uh, more common that they'll be in conflict with humans that they'll be in in our neighborhoods looking for food sources as opposed to out hunting as they normally are because they're they're kind of a, a, the larger of the carnivores that live in in our urban centers um, you know coyotes are in every city in North America Central Park in New York City Stanley Park in uh, Vancouver BC so they're every city in North America but it's these ones that are mange that tend to uh, have a little bit further home range and start coming through our neighborhoods, you know, looking for more of our food sources to eat. Now it's important to remember that coyotes aren't all bad. They do a really good job of pest control. That's including keeping mice and rats out of your home. So don't let these animals suffer from mange. Call the Oakville Milton Humane Society. They can find the coyote, pick it up and treat it. Reporting for Halton Insider, I'm Shane Lansing.